welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number three, guys. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy as well that I am here. I am major ch channeling, excuse me, some wonderful artist from the UK, darling Chris Schneider Art, and my lovely dear Julie Vatcher um, from Julie Vatcher's Art. I go to sleep at night and just before I lay in bed with my earbuds on so I don't bother my man Rick next to me and um, I go to sleep watching these two ladies. They don't put me to sleep but I end my evening watching them and I have learned so many wonderful things from Julie Vatcher and Chris Schneider. And uh, they're both extremely talented artists and I'm pretty sure that they um, studied art and they took up fluid painting um, later in their art journeys and fell in love with it. So they know a lot of things that I don't know. And every time I watch them, I learn different little tidbits. And um, I'm going to be doing a painting today um, inspired by um, Chris Schneider. The links to both Chris Schneider and Julie Vatcher will be in the description box, guys. I know you have all heard me speak of them before, and I will continually speak um, about them. Guys, I, I learn by watching YouTube as well. I've been painting just over two and a half years, and I watch video after video, and I do and do and do again, and I have fails, and I learn from the fails almost as much as I learned from the success stories. Um, but these two ladies have um, helped me. I've really enjoyed doing landscape swiping, and I will be teaching landscape swiping at the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas, Texas this November. And uh, it's one of my favorite classes to teach. So I'm constantly trying to learn new things that I can share with my students. I can share with my uh, YouTube followers. And um, I'm gonna do a little Chris Schneider painting today. I'm going to be painting, um, hopefully, a beautiful sky and a nice mountainous meadow. Now. When you're doing these paintings that have different sections to them, like a sky and then maybe a meadow and then maybe trees or flowers or shrubs, it's um, much easier to do them in sections once they dry. In other words, you do your sky, you get it exactly the way you want it, you let it set up for a, a day or two, and then it's very easy to pour a mountain scene over that sky. But um, I don't know that I'll do that today. I'll try to attempt to do it without letting it dry. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. But um, um, a couple tricks of the trade that I learned from Chris Schneider, she does, and I don't even know if this is the right term. Let me get my little cups, hang on. She does tiny little flip cups, and I think that they're called flip and drag. She does not put a base coat um, color down um, and she uses tiny little cups. Often she uses different size cups, bigger cups in areas that she wants the composition, bigger, smaller cups as she works her way down. So I'm going to be trying that today and don't laugh at me because I don't know how good I am at the flip and drag, but <laughs> you know what? When I started swiping, I wasn't very good at it, but the more I did it, the better I got um, at it. So I'm going to be doing that. And in my landscape paintings, I usually do a dirty cup and then I flip and drag it. And more often than not, I do it over a wet base coat. I'm not going to do that today. Um, Chris does not do a dirty cup. She layers her paints very strategically in her little cups and then she gets them all positioned, drags them one at a time, Googles, Googles, not Googles, 
gets very excited about her pour. She also taps every single cup and wishes it good luck. So if you see me tapping my cup, I'm doing a Chris Schneider to wish that cup of paint good luck as it travels across my canvas. Uh, I'm gonna be trying some new things for me today and I'm glad you're here to, uh, to explore with me, guys. I've got some yummy colors. Let's go over them quickly because I'm being a chatty Kathy. On this side is my sky. Right here we have golden iridescent silver in the fluid paints, but it was a little bit too silvery for me, so I added some Modern Masters pearl white to it to lighten it up a little bit. This right here is golden fluids in the iridescent pearl. This right here is Decor Metallics in the Sky Blue Topaz, but I didn't want it to be this bold and um, in your face blue. So I took the Sky Blue Topaz and I added some Golden Fluids Iridescent Pearl to it. And then I took it down another notch, the Golden uh, Sky Blue Topaz, and I added to it a little bit of the Amsterdam titanium white just to kind of graduate that blue down my meadow or my mountains is over here on this side what a lovely buttery shade of yellow this is artist sloth naples yellow we have a yummy mossy green by decor extreme sheen and that is their peridot right here is artist sloth in the what is this this is their deep green and then this right here is Artist Loft in the deep green mixed with a little bit of the Artist Loft Naples yellow. Right here is the Artist Loft deep green mixed with just a doused or two of the deco art in the com uh, carbon black. I'm a little tongue tied today, guys. Um, we're working on a 12 by 16 gallery wrap canvas. And what else? Our pouring medium today. Our pouring medium is my usual swipe pouring medium, 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, and a healthy squirt of GAC 800 in every single one of our paints, guys. I've been talking too much. I know you want to paint. I know I want to paint. So let's put some tunes on, guys. Wish me luck. Let's get busy. Was it all just a dream, just all in my
Wish I could slow down, wish I could stop time 